Hello my crafty friends. Welcome again to another 10 minute segment of my April 2020 sheet load of cards process video. Today we're going to go ahead and assemble. So I'm all excited about that. I did run into a couple of <laughs> so we will outline those as we go along. So let's put on the timer for 10 minutes and get started. I did some pre-planning to decide which one goes should go where. And for some strange reason, I ended up with two of the same front panels. And so that was really weird. So I, oops, uh, nope. Okay, one goes, you can do uh, this way or that way. See how it goes? You could cross them back and forth. You could interchange how they go. If that makes any sense. All right. I did make had to make another one of this pattern because I had two of this pattern left and I'm like how did that happen? I don't know. So let's kind of angle like And here is our happy birthday. I also made another happy birthday because I could not find one of them. That goes right there. So there is one of our cards. I think I'm going to use glue on the back of this so I have a little bit of, of wiggle room. Cute little girl holding the cupcake, and that went on just fine. Ah, there we go. And we'll use this one. I like doing this because the yellow kind of breaks up the patterns a little more. But I couldn't do them all that way because I ran out of yellow. Let's angle that one that way. And then this one this way. And then our happy birthday. Right there. There's card number two. And this one is, oh, I did it again, didn't I? Okay, let's see if we can, how well we can match this up here. Because it's five and a half by four and a quarter, it'll go straight on the, and cover the entire card base. And it went on pretty well. So we've got the little girl with her cupcakes. her that way and the birthday cakes this is birthday memories from Stampin Up ah. did I even start the timer what the heck oh dear the timer's not working I'm sorry guys, the timer stopped working, and so I thought, well, so I went ahead and made a card 
not on video, but then I decided, you know what? I have to finish them anyway. So let's just finish the cards. I don't want to waste this time. So let's just finish up the cards. Now in this case, obviously I'm using this piece. So we have two bold pattern pieces at the same time, or you know, right on top of each other. But that's okay. That's how it works out. I still don't know how I ended up with two of the same pattern piece left. bunch of cards for my stay well project and so these these blue ones you know after about 10 cards they run out which is understandable and then I think I lost that a black the black piece that goes over the top of the the loop on the ATG gun so I'm like oh sometimes all right, last but not least, we have six cards we're making out of this. And I still have birthday memory paper left. And obviously, they're, I can save them for birthdays. And... My church group is a good good bunch for that or my square dance groups or you name it okay I think the colors all went really well together. I've got blue and I've got the maroon. we go this is the one the extra one I made because I guess in the process of the messy desk <laughs> try to do three projects at once it got lost so I made another one real quick and there we are okay two Three, four, five, six. All right. We'll just pretend it took 10 minutes to get these together. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.